Hey there, welcome. Uh, the question we want to answer today is how can someone uh, put a, a, an element that allows the client to sign? And the question is two sides. How will the client be able to put their signature on that short form? So putting an element that allows the client to sign is quite easy. I have this form which I have already made. But uh, if we want to put a signature, there is actually a form element called signature. All you have to do is to drag it and you put it there. It allows the person to put the signature. So you can actually say, you can leave it a signature or say put signature. You can name it anyhow. There is also what we call sign automation. Now with sign automation, Sign automation uh, is something that is uh, a, a very good feature that you might use because it allows once a document is signed, it is automatically turned into a PDF. It also allows an audit trail that can be seen uh, of each signed document. It also allows a person to disable submission editing because once a submission is, uh, 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 is put through, uh, there is a possibility of actually editing that document. But once you put your signature, you wouldn't want anyone editing. So it disables submission editing. Sometimes uh, some users might want to give consent for their signatures because there are issues for security. This uh, automation allows that. So if you turn it on, it then gives you uh, an email that uh, can be sent uh once something is done or once something has been submitted so it's important to put that on once we finish uh we can also make a few adjustments which are standard to make it a requirement for someone to sign so we put on the required field if we want to do that the rest are actually standard so once that is done you now know how to put your signature there so the next question is targeted at the client or the person you are going to send the form to. How do they put their signature there? So let's preview a form and go through the submission of that form. So as you can see, we do have that onboarding form that we put information. So I'm just going to put a fake name, Jack. Right, we're not going to upload anything, but here is what we want to see. You see, it says sign here. So using their mouse, they can actually put a signature there. and then it's done, they can continue. But some people might say the signature doesn't come out well, so they can make use of what we call graphic tablets. I'm just going to put uh, a picture of what a graphic tablet looks like in a moment. And I'll also put links to uh, where you can purchase graphic tablets. They are quite uh, cheap, they're not that expensive. So what a graphic tablet does is it's got a pen and a pad. So when you, you write on it, the signature actually comes out here. So the client might have a graphic tablet to uh, actually make use of their signature there. But if they don't have one, they can just sign using their mouse. They simply click write and then draw their signature here. That's how one can put their signature there using a mouse or a graphic tablet. Once they do that, they simply, so let me just do this right it's not as nice but they click continue and then now they are asked for their consent to say look this is your electronic signature and it is a valid handwritten signature do you consent yes and you say sign the document uh then it has been submitted it's done so that signature will appear on the actual form uh, that the person submitted mm -hmm.